。现在就邀请您聆听一九九二年三月三日，青海无上师在新加坡的讲经开示，主题为“为自己和后代创造永恒的天堂”第二集。If everyone lives according to what the Bible states, and everyone see God within, see the light of God, the kingdom of God, hear the sound, the word of God, or the Buddha nature, then the world, our world, becomes paradise. Because this light, this sound, make us become saint. Make us become Buddhas, and the worlds where the Buddhas live are nirvana. The worlds where the saints live are heaven, kingdom of God. Many other planets have this kind of heavenly atmosphere because all the beings in that planet practice, tune in with God power. And have all their desires fulfilled, all their power at their hands, and all the peace within themselves and within the neighborhood. Because in those planets, only goodness are generated, and no negativities, like in our Earth. Our Earth is not the only planet in this universal galactic system. There are many other planets similar to ours. Some are more civilized, some are less、uh, developed. We don't have time to talk about all these. We can talk about our Earth first. <laughs> It is the most practical and necessary. Now, if you understand the atmosphere, something when it's light, you know, everything in the material sense, when it's light, then it rises up, right? It is more on the upper atmosphere, so like the heat or thing like that. Yes, and whatever is heavy, cold, then it stay a little bit lower in the atmosphere or lower due to gravity.、Mm. Similarly, goodness will stay more or less above the negativity, but in our world, goodness and badness together. Yeah, goodness, of course, above, but not that we are free from negativity. We have it attached to our neighborhood, to our lower,、um, lower state. And now, other world, they have only goodness, only goodness. These places call heaven or kingdom of God. We can attain these planets, or we can visit them now. If we are in the same quality, the same vibratory frequencies as these beings, as this planet, so、uh, to practice the kingdom of God, to attain nirvana is no mythical story, but it is a very、uh, clear-sighted, very scientific way of life. Should we want to live that way? It's not difficult. It is a way of life that we choose. We can choose to live an ordinary life, just like in our world. We can choose to become just a taxi driver, or just a、um, company worker, a manager. So we can choose to be a political leader. We can choose to be a, a,、um, a president. <laughs> we can choose to be a, a, a top banker. All kind of jobs. If we apply our effort to the chosen. Jobs are chosen aspect. We can become that. We can be a doctor, or we can be a nurse only. Even though in the medical field, same thing in spiritual、uh, endeavor, we can choose to be just an ordinary religious believer. We go to the church. We do good charity. We offer to the Buddha, to the, build a temple, and we offer to the monks, and we keep as much as possible the precepts. And we don't eat vegetarian, for example. <laughs> we call ourselves convenient Buddhists. <laughs> Very convenient, yes. 
Now it's okay, it's okay. But our lives will be different than the life of the Buddhas, than the life of Christ. If we aspire to be a Bodhisattva, a saint, a Buddha, or Christ, then we have to apply our effort more. We have to train ourselves in a more specific manner, and we have to be more, I mean, more, more sincere, more studious. We have to apply our life in such a way that the Buddha, when he was alive, apply himself, that Christ, when he was alive, uh, apply himself. So, when the Buddha was alive, he was practicing meditation. He tried all kinds of meditation, including ascetism, which he forced upon himself. And then he starved, kind of almost to death, because believing that to punish the body, you will attain the soul. And then after many years, of a near-death experience, <laughs> he realized that this is not the true way. This is too extreme, and nobody can do it. Therefore, he turned and looked in the other directions, and he has succeeded. And then he left us some footprints, some instructions to practice. When somebody asked the Buddha, what is the method to attain Buddhahood, to become a Buddha. He say, Kwan Yin Method, contemplation on your own inner nature. He say, turn your hearing ability inwards and hear your own Buddha nature. And in the Lotus Sutra, he's mentioned that those practitioners of this Kwan Yin Method can hear the sounds of various musical notes inside and outside can hear very clearly. If it was to hear only the outside instruments, like the drums, the bells, the sitar, the flute, then he would not mention that inside and outside the practitioners can hear. He can hear up to heaven. He can hear up to, uh, down to the hell by practicing this method. I hear various kinds of sounds inside and outside. He feared that we did not understand what he meant by hearing the music and the sound of heaven, so he mentioned it inside and outside. <laughs> that means if you hear the drum outside, but that's different from when you hear, hear the drum inside. And the drum and the thunder and all that, these are not actually the very high state of consciousness. They are even higher states. So that is the Kuan Yin method according to Buddhist scriptures, and we can hear that. We can tune into this kind of frequency, vibration, in order to enlighten our consciousness. Not that we care to see for the light, not that we care to hear the inner heavenly music. It's just that because if we see this and we hear this, our, our feeling, our wisdom, everything is uplifted into a very blissful, state, and then we can carry out every duty in our life with different perspective. We can see life in more golden light, in more uh, a positive point of view, and we can work more efficiently, and we can think more clearly, and we can understand every scripture in different religions that are put before us, even with our teacher. No teacher. The way you, the way people explain the scriptures to you, are not, not always the true way, not always the the the, the right way. And when you practice Kuan Yin method, you know it differently. You know the truth from the false, and you know many other things that you never knew before, that no one else, except you, would know. No one else except the practicer of the inner kingdom of God would know. And this come by and by. But at the first stage, at the time of initiation, you will be offered first-hand experiences of these so-called kingdom of God 
or Buddha nature. And then you continue from that day on, every day, if you practice, you will hear it and you will see it. And different stages are gradually. And the more you practice, the more blissful you feel, the smoother your life becomes in all aspects. Not only spiritual aspects, but even worldly aspects. That's why in the Quran it's mentioned that be a good guest on earth, live a rich life. Because the believer in God should not be in poverty. God doesn't punish people who believe him to give him poverty. God doesn't give poverty to this earth. God doesn't create hell. It is we, by mistakes, by interactions between each other, by choosing the wrong action at that decisive moment, create hell. So now we can think it over and create heaven, at least temporary heaven, so we can rest for a while. And then we are free from the burdens of this world for a while. And then we think what we want to do next, whether we want to return to earth again or we want to pursue the higher stage of heaven. That we can decide. So the temporary heaven can be uh, achieved by doing good deeds, uh, by believing God, by prayers, by sincere repentance of our mistakes, and by trying to do always what is best for the society and for ourselves. And be vegetarian. Many people like to follow our method, but they cannot put down that piece of steak. So, so I offer you uh, a replacement with a piece of tofu. <laughs> well, it's cheaper, easier to digest, and less guilt less sins, less bad karma. Karma means as you sow, so shall you reap, yeah? Law of course and retribution. So this is the kind of temporary heaven that you will create for yourself. Now, as a Christian, you meditate on God, on Jesus Christ. As a Buddhist, you meditate on the Buddhas of Kuan Yin, Bodhisattva, Amitabha, Buddha, whomever Buddhas that you like best. As a Muslim, you meditate on Allah. I think the Muslim system was very good. They pray five times a day. At least they remember God that many times. You are good in your own way, and you try your best to believe in the Buddha that you never see. Mm. This is already very good of you. <laughs> so I offer you that you want to see the Buddha, I can make you see the Buddha, because I have seen the Buddha. If you want to see God, I can let you see God because I have seen God. But in case you don't want to see God, you don't want to see Buddha that much, and you don't want to stay in heaven forever, then you can have a kind of temporary nirvana or heavens by keeping the precepts according to your religious belief and try to do as good as possible. Avoid the bad mistakes. Avoid it. Make a list of what you should like to change according to religious uh, standard. Make a list of your life, what you want to change, what you should uh, uh, develop more. For example, you know you have compassion and you like to give people uh, in charity, in, in a poor condition, or flood victims. Then you know you have that. Then you always try to develop more. You know you believe in God, you like some contact with God, then you meditate on God or Buddhas. And try to be vegetarian. Vegetarian is not a religious uh, way of life only, but it is a way to save the world from starvation and poverty. We have many research to prove that we waste a lot of humans of earth products and resources in order to feed cows and pigs for many years, for a lot of qualities of medicines, of uh, proteins, beans, and all kinds of vegetables in order to rise a pig. And we eat it only for very fast time, five minutes even, five minutes. 
if you eat that slowly. Somebody make it in one minute. Yes. Therefore, if we are vegetarian, not only that because we are religious people, but it's truly to save the world. <laughs>